ICT Integration Workshop 5.2, Literacy and Numeracy. This time we're going to be talking about literacy. Now, uh, literacy, Turnitin is one of the programs that's used widely in schools nowadays and also would be used at University of Adelaide and many universities. I realise that you would have already, many of you would have already used this one, so I'm not going to go into it in any detail. However, I want you to be thinking that Turnitin is a great opportunity for you to track when students are submitting work it automatically does a reference search for you, word count, and as soon as you want to, you can log in and then download all the work to your computer. It's a great way of tracking students' progress and takes a lot of the admin work out of it. So I won't go into that one. However, I'm going to talk about Word and Schmoop. Now, Word, I'm just going to give you a quick, quick tool, quick demonstration of, what, of some stuff you can do in Word. Now, admittedly on a Mac, but same same difference on anything else. Uh, here, when you're doing your writing, so I'm going to say um, uh, name, uh, name, whatever. Um, so, generally, one of the things that drives me nuts uh, is when people do they do underline, so they underline this, and then they go space, 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 or they'll go tab, 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 right, and then they'll go into the next line. And then they have to go up here and they change it name and home group or class. Uh, and then they go, oh, well, now it's on the next line. They have to go and edit it and so on. So, what I'm going to show you is a quick trick. See, up here in the corner, we've got the left justify, center justify, and right justify. So, I want you to click on the right justify button, come up with the top to your ruler, and come across and put it at the end. Now, you do that in the first line and we'll sit there. So now I'll go name and class, underline, tab. Now if I press, every time I press tab, it does a new line. Then I can go, and what you can do then is you can say, um, actually I don't need that. Uh, who, oh, get rid of my underline. Who was uh, Romeo? Question mark. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna adjust my spacing. Right, to 1.5, just to neaten it up. Now, go underlined, tab, tab, tab. Well, now that's going to be worth about three marks. So, because it's right justified, you can see it will go here, get my underline, next thing. Now, if I adjust any of this, uh, who was jump and uh, why was he interested in Juliet? Um, can you think of a reason he betrayed his friend. So noticed, I mean, now I realize that I'm doing this terribly, but um, no, so it's jumped down to the next line. So this this is just a really quick trick. Frees up your formatting as well. Now say, say as well up here, I go, oh, I wanna make this wider. Right, so because I've done that, hang on, just to fix this one, make a liar out of me. Okay, um, so it automatically fixes it up. So that's great. Now, another thing can, which is really good to do is under review, you've got this one, track changes. If you're not doing it, can I suggest you do it? It's a fantastic tool. Now, if I'm add, adding anything in, name and class, and I go next line, let's go next line. Okay, so it's highlighting what my changes are that I've done, okay? If I edit this and go, uh, um, I don't know, Juliet. So you can see on here that it's actually going, what's going on. Now up here, instead of doing this, I can go all markup. So now it's telling me exactly what I've done at each time. Because of delete Romeo, so I've deleted Romeo, you know what, I just want to delete this whole section. Okay. So this is great for if you're uh, checking how students are going. Um, so a student can send you their work, um, you turn on track changes, you make all the changes, they can see on here, they go, oh yeah, that's good, right click and go accept changes, accept changes, all right? You can then send it back to them, all right? Um, and they make any changes, it comes back to you, you make sure they've got track changes on, and then you can see the edits they've done. So you're not going through and rereading it and recorrecting stuff that you might have already corrected the first time and they just never made the change, you can actually see what they've done. So. Two quick points is the justify and the track changes. Everything else on Word is, is basically, you're gonna use it for as, as best as you can. 
Um, some people will use it well, some people uh, will, because they've used it before, others will try hard to do it. Now, Schmoop. Schmoop is a, in a sense, a, a support, a support website. Now, you can pay for it. Um, it is relatively inexpensive, but you don't have to. And I'm just going to demonstrate. So in here, I've got learning guides, and there's learning guides for so many different things. Um, but and you can, so you can scroll down, there's math, science, social studies, so on. But just, we're going to go into English literature. All right. And here, I might want to look at a literature, a book that's in here, or Shakespeare. Let's just go to, I'm going to go to literature. Right, and then it comes up with ABCD. I'm going to go to To Kill a Mo Mockingbird. I've already got it sitting here. So in the, on this side, it's got, in a nutshell, Right, it's got a summary, so if I click on the summary, it will explain to you how it goes down. There's normally a video in here where they're explaining it in student version. Sorry. Um, and it's explaining what's happening to Kill a Mockingbird. You can look at the chapter by chapter or the summary. Uh, you can look at the themes, you can look at quotes, you can look at characters. Um, right, so here's themes. Another good thing is it allows you to look at infographics. So these you could download and put in uh, a so you can look at infographics down here. So what does To Kill a Mockingbird look like? All right, and you can see here, uh, we've got uh, explaining all the different parts of the book, or you can, which you could print out and put on your wall. All right, it's got all the different people in here as well. So these are just infographics of what people, what people have done. Oh, that's not good. Um, but that's, that is Schmoop. So it's a great tool. Um, the last one I'll just have a look down here is questions. This is a really good one for, for staff because it actually puts in the questions down here that you could use as extended questions in a test or to in school discussion. All right, fantastic tool. Okay, and while I'm here, I'm just gonna show you a Google Advanced Search. Google Advanced Search is really handy. So if we go to Google Advanced, Okay, and we're going to advanced search. So here I say I want to look up, I don't know, uh, African, uh, African mountains. Now, so be it, that will come up with lots and lots of different things. However, if we go right down here and go file type, you can actually look at PowerPoints. All right, advanced search. Now I've never done this before, but let's hit, is there any PowerPoints? Um, if there's a PowerPoint, here's Af all these are PowerPoints that you could download. So, really quick way of finding PowerPoints that can be handy um, and that you can use in your class without having to re you, that you can then edit or remake yourself.